Hello and welcome to Basic Arithmetic Without a Calculator. I'm Elizabeth Johnson and this is Lesson 3, Multiplication of Whole Numbers. When you talk about multiplication, this is the symbol we use, this X, and some of the words we use are times, lots of, groups of, and of course product. Product's rather important because the word product refers to the answer to a multiplication problem. In other words, the product of 2 and 3 is 6. Now let's do a simple example. There's a pair of safety goggles on sale for $5. They're usually 20. And since they're so cheap today, I'm going to go ahead and buy three pair. So the question is, how much money needs to be ready at the counter? Well, let's see. I could write it across this way since it's a simple one-digit question. So $5 times three pair of goggles is going to cost $15. So basically, that's a simple explanation about what multiplication is. But usually, you're going to have a lot more complicated problems, more like this. 25 times 1,423. Now, if I've got a question like that, I'm not going to want to try to do it in my head. I might start actually by rewriting the problem. Rewriting it the way we did the, the addition and subtraction problems. You've got 1,423 on top, 25 at the bottom. They're lined up against the right. Units on top of units, tens on top of tens, hundreds, thousands, tens, thousands, and so forth. After that, you're going to take the multiplication symbol and you're going to take a bar across the bottom and then you're going to be ready to work. Now, you might have noticed that the 25 used to be in the front and I took the liberty of putting it after here. You can do that in multiplication, but don't try it in subtraction or in division because it will actually change your answer if you swap them around. But in multiplication, it actually makes your work a bit easier to do it this way. Now, let's go ahead and set about solving this question. You've got... With multiplication, to start with the bottom right-hand digit, and then you multiply it times the top row, each number in turn from the right to the left. So I'll multiply times the 3, the 2, the 4, and the 1. We're not finished with that. I'll go ahead and multiply the 2 times each one of those numbers, and if I had other digits, I would do the same with them. So let's just demonstrate. 5 times 3 is 15. The units go underneath and the 1 gets carried to the column on the left. Now you've got 5 times 2. Well, 5 lots of 2 are 10. And then I add the 1, it makes it 11. The units get put at the bottom. And the first one gets carried to the column on the left. Now I've got 5 times 4. Well, 5 lots of 4 is 20. And I'm going to add the 1, making it 21. That answer goes underneath. The 1 does, and the 2 gets carried to the left. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. OK, now I've finished with this 5, and I'm ready to start on the 2. I've got 2 times 3, which is 6. Now, this answer is going to go here. And you might wonder why I didn't put it here. Well, if I'm starting out in the tens column, I want my answer to start in the tens column. Same thing if I had anything in the hundreds column, I'd want it to start out down here, or the thousands would start out in the thousands column. So it's important to keep them straight. And in order to make sure I keep it in the right column, I might even use what they call a placeholder, a zero, and put it here to make sure that the six starts in the tens column where it's supposed to. Now I've got two times two, which is four. I'm going to put that in the next slot to the left. I've got 2 times 4, which is 8. Again, working my way to the left. 2 times 1 now, which is 2. All right, now I've done all my multiplication. I'm finished with that. What do I do now? I'm going to add these two together. And if you saw video number 1 about addition, you'll remember that you start at the right and you work your way over to the left. 5 plus 0 is 5. 1 plus 6 is 7. 1 plus 4, well, that makes 5. 7 plus 8 is 15. I'm going to put the 5 underneath and carry the 1 again. I've got 1 plus 2, which is 3. 
So that's how you solve a bigger multiplication problem. Of course, it's always going to be easy for you if you can remember your multiplication tables. If you have trouble remembering your tables at this time, one way that you can go about remembering them is to print off the multiplication chart that came in the same place where you got this video. If there isn't one available for you, ask your teacher and have him print one off. To go about filling in this table, what you need to do is notice that there are numbers across the top, and those numbers get multiplied times the numbers down the side. So for example, 1 times 1 is 1, and 2 times 2 is 4. You'll notice that the ones down the diagonal have already been done for you. Those are the square numbers. So for example, the square of 3 means 3 times 3, and that's 9. What I want you to do after you've printed this sheet off is take a pen and start to fill in all the very easy answers. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 2, one lot of 2 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. Pretty simple. Go ahead and fill out the top row. That's an easy one, and it's going to be mirrored down the side. 1 times 2 is 2, and so forth. Um, 2 times 4 is going to be 8. Just fill in all the very easy ones. When you've finished filling in the easy ones, I want you to not get out a calculator. Don't count on your fingers. Just find the ones that don't come easily to you and get a highlighter and highlight those ones. So for example, if you can't remember 5 times 6 is 30, just go ahead and put a highlighter on there first. Maybe you can't remember 5 times 7, or you can't remember 7 times 6. All the ones that might be difficult for you, go ahead and highlight them all. When you've finished with your highlighter, go ahead and get a pen and a calculator and fill in the rest of your table. So for example, the 5 times the 6 would be 30 and so forth. Go ahead and fill in the whole table. When you've finished, what you need to do is take your the ones that have been highlighted and one at a time get a post-it note. Do you know post-it notes? They're sort of a yellow note and they've got glue across the top. And write the first problem that you couldn't remember. For example, um, 5 times 6 is 30. Now, I want you to put this someplace very conspicuous in your house, someplace where you're going to see it every day, maybe on the bathroom mirror, maybe somewhere around the breakfast table, someplace where you can't miss it. And every time you look at it, think about what it says, 5 times 6 equals 30, and then close your eyes and see if you can still remember that. When you can remember it, take it down and put a new one up. And that way, systematically, you'll begin to learn all of your multiplication tables. It really will make the rest of your arithmetic work a lot easier for you. Well, that's all for this video. Go ahead and try the multiplication problems that have been given to you. Email them into your teacher. And we'll see you back again in Lesson 4.